YouTube, what is up? We are back. It is Tuesday, and as you can see, we have quite the batch of orders. I was in here yesterday getting as many orders together as I can. I took two trips to FedEx, two trips to UPS, USPS, trying to get out orders as fast as possible. We're definitely trying to stay ahead of it this holiday season. Shouts to everyone for making purchases with us. We'll start off up here. We got a bunch of ones, some used, some new. Electro's new, Mocha's used, Royal Toes used, and the Starfish Lows used. Plus these craters, something different right here. I believe these are made out to all trash or recycled material something like that don't uh, quote me though got a brand new racer blue used fire red brand new cool gray brand new obsidian used jubilee used bread brand new cool gray 11 low and check out this raging bull section i probably said it already it's been going through the warehouse trying to uh, clear things out and we definitely have a lot of raging bulls so i'm glad to see those go out and then we got the i guess i don't even call these the raging bulls they call these the toro sixes sleeper if you ask me speaking of sleeper we got the pumps over here next to the very beautifully yellow white cements we got the philly blunt high i believe they're called tefras kds and pgs i meant to say pg but it's okay because the kd was right next to it so it doesn't really matter but we have the pg and the kd next to the pennies air trainer ones we got two dunks actually three dunks next to, i think those are called the the point forward or the point shoot or oh the the point lane larry bird marcus Mariota, wade boggs polo sport we got the cowboys jacket they're going to take a fat l this week to the eagles check these out we've had these for quite some time Time. they definitely check the apps go for like a thousand dollars so i'm glad to get these out of here for a uh, decent offer very very clean there we got some easies cannot forget we got a couple dx shirts that are going out got a couple other things to find hopefully we find them soon let's see what burn and jordan think about the orders start for the jones good shoe right there not one you see every day that's one shoe that i like especially the brown pair as well way runner size 14 i think that's a good shoe to have especially for the size you don't really get that many size 14s in so what we do we try to at least get the good stuff some tz pumps for like we've been you know, it was pretty well since the summertime. A good classic shoe right there. You got the PGs. Kind of sad that they kind of like discontinued his line because that was one of like the best basketball shoes to hoop in. KD4s. Talking about best basketball shoes to ball. To me, that's up there for greatest Nike basketball of all time. Dope pennies right there. Some dunks. Some SBs. Jubilees going out. One we recently just put up the other day that was in the warehouse just chilling. Red 11. Another good pair. Cool Ray 11 low. Another good pair right there. The all red Pyro set right there. White Cement 4 is a classic. I know a lot of people don't like the yellow one on the K. They like like the pure just white, but to me I think the yellow one you know, adds a little bit of touch to it. A couple ones, a couple threes going out. Dope jerseys, that, that Mariota is definitely a classic. One of those if you know you know Clay Bog, that's a beautiful typical race jersey. I wish they will bring those back. The colorways of fire. Larry Bird, that's a classic right there itself. The 33 Dudley jersey, you can never go wrong with that. Definitely don't want to speak on a Cowboys jacket because definitely don't like the Cowboys in here. And a nice polo sport jacket going out. Yeah, I really like the selection of uh, Jays and Dunks and Nikes, Wave Runners, a little bit of everything right here started with the jubilees like jordan said um those were chilling in a warehouse and i'm glad those sold this weekend because good money is better than no money red 11 classic sneaker right there always seem to sell those especially used whenever they come in jordan threes love seeing the seven and a half especially like smaller sizes go out next to those racer blues starfish a great alternative if you don't want to drop the money for the shattered backboard definitely a great sneaker right there just to beat up and the orange is actually great on those love seeing this raging bull toro bravo pack right there because we do have a ton of ra raging bulls thinking uh, bigger sizes so if you're still looking for raging bulls out there hit us up reblock tz's next to those white cement fours definitely like a 90s little uh, section right there especially with the yellowing on the fours absolutely beautiful easy's always love seeing these go out and then i'm gonna end off with those jams beautiful sneaker right there we had those for a while and i'm glad to finally see those go out so whoever get those i hope you enjoy them love the selection of clothes at the bottom of the pack shouts to everyone for placing orders with us we greatly appreciate it we're trying our best to announce that uh, we'll be closed on saturday so if you pull up on saturday and uh, we're not here so sorry but we're trying our best to just announce uh, that we will be closed definitely happy to get all these orders out not sure how much you'll be seeing me today got a lot of work to do but uh, let's see what happens today all right youtube we're back so we might as well talk about a sneaker that we haven't spoke about the kobe 6 pro tro bright crimson black this kobe box actually has this kind of reptilian feel to it i want to talk about these because they're definitely something cool that i've been waiting to get in hand when i get them in hand though i i can say the quality just doesn't feel as good as the original Grinches. They don't come with extra laces, but it's still an awesome sneaker nonetheless. I really think this is going to be like the Christmas shoe. Jordan 11s and the Jordans and all that stuff. People aren't really 
really going crazy for. I feel like this shoe right here, a lot of kids are going to want, a lot of adults are going to want. I'm not even a Kobe guy. I kind of want these in my size on some funny shit. Yeah, definitely something cool. Figure you guys would want to take a look at them. Again, I, I do wish they had the red laces with them. I think that would have been nice because, you know, the green Grinches had red laces attached to them. And I was kind of expecting that for these. But nonetheless, it's cool that Kobe's are kind of getting a little more accessible to people. I would expect Nike to want to make them more accessible to people. I think that's the goal of Vanessa Bryant and the uh, whole foundation and stuff. So with that being said, I might have overpaid for these. Hopefully we can move them quick. But uh, yeah, just give my two cents about these Kobe's. R.I.P. Jordan and Berwin. If they have anything to say about them, they'll check them out. The left one says, I want a shoe. And then this one says, molds to my foot. So I want a shoe that molds to my foot. High school me is probably like looking at these and going crazy right now. Mm -hmm. I think me, I agree with Ace. Like probably would have wanted the red laces, but I'll probably put white laces in them. In high school, I used to love like all red sneakers. So I definitely would have put white laces in them. I think they definitely should have given you extra laces for sure. That's like the one knock about them that they don't have extra laces. But Kobe 6, the box does feel nice. It does feel like a reptilian type of box. You, know, you can feel the scales and stuff like that. But again, Kobe 6, probably my, my favorite Kobe model. But me personally, I don't think I could wear a Kobe since he died. That's my opinion. It's not bad. They're actually not going for the, as much as the original Grinches right now, which I'm kind of surprised about. I feel like Grinch prices, I feel like that might happen to these in the long run. Just as of right now, I'm actually surprised that these aren't going for as much as I thought they were going for. I think they're like four, 450, depending on the price, maybe five tops but when this initially dropped well actually it didn't even like officially dropped yet i think these are like the shock drop pairs so i feel like when these come out the 15th it might even like hit 350 and then four might be the max for some sizes but next christmas i feel like it might be a 600 a 700 dollar shoe depending where the market is at that moment there was a lineup about other kobe's coming out in the next year so that might drive these up even more or might they, they might drive these even uh down but yeah just your typical kobe grinch nothing crazy i have yet to see someone wear the red and green together let us know in the comments did you cop these are you gonna cop these are you getting these for your gift for someone we'll see what happens with these as we're back it was a pretty good day today got some work done we have a lot of stuff to hit the ebay as you can see we got stuff that's gonna hit the uh shelves this being probably the craziest here supreme foams when do you see these nowadays then you got some other crazy stuff that isn't so good like denim sixes uh jordan brand i don't know why you ever made those then we got some other stuff that's just awesome like 23s aquas forget exactly which one these are called but uh slim jenkins maybe slim jenkins i don't know that was fresh off the dome and uh dmp one still bread still banned regardless of it being the dmp and you can catch that uh april 20th 1986 going on there shout out to everyone for shopping with us supporting us watching the content we're trying our best to continue to put out great content a lot of you guys appreciate it love you guys real quick just a reminder for all of the uh, comments out there we are not in the business to buy things we don't want for prices we don't want to pay we buy everything for a price we want to pay it might be a low ball it might not be the price you think you'd pay it might be less than payout everything we buy especially now we want to be healthy in our investments if you don't understand what that means you can google healthy investment what does healthy buying mean all that stuff simple economics and again, we don't have to film all of this stuff. We choose to for you guys to watch. So, you know, obviously we're not ashamed of offers we make or the business we do because we do it every day and uh, we film it when we film it. So shout out to everyone for supporting. We appreciate it. That's about it. I guess I'll do a one and done to get out of here unless Jordan or Berwin has anything for the people. Yeah, yeah talking about the football. <laughs> what? Fantasy? No, from you line. Huh? From you line. Oh. <laughs> Shouts to Uline, we got the uh, Wilson Eagles football because we spent over $400. Uh, it's deflated and the Eagles looked a little deflated on Sunday. But I did hit a crazy ticket, I'm not going to lie. Brandon IU, Mike Evans, Taysom Hill, Jalen Hurts. I think that was it. $14 paid like $5.15. So I was happy even though I lost my ass betting on the Eagles. Because like I have a lot of friends who are 49ers fans. It didn't go well for us. But it's okay because we lost this one, which means we're going to win the one in the playoffs. Right, Jordan? Yeah, <laughs> nah, I, 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 I know I like forgot who I was talking to about this. My, dad, my dad's a Cowboys fan, so every day he gets he gets happy seeing the Eagles win and uh, lose, and when the Cowboys win, he gets happy. But realistically, Cowboys gonna lose this Sunday. They're gonna probably gonna play the Falcons in the first round, win that, then do what they do, lose in the second round. And the Eagles gonna play the 49ers again, in the NC Championship, most likely in Philly. I'll take Philly on the comeback. I think I think playoff hurts. Smitty, AJ Brown, I'll put my money on them. I trust those guys way more than I trust Purdy and those. 
those other guys, personally. Speaking of that, uh, fantasy football, we might as well talk about it. Jordan and I, doesn't look like we're going to make the playoffs. But I honestly think that my team would beat any team when it comes to week 16. So we're going to revisit this. Oh, wait, week 18 or 17, whatever week it is now. We're going to revisit this and see what type of points my team puts up. Shout out to Chase a Bag, Jody, The Rod Father, Nick, Brendan's best team, Brendan, and Cree Shop and Sell. Those four teams have uh, secured a playoff berth. And uh, we got three downs and down. Ralph, give me Dobbs or give me Death. Kenneth, TMT, Matt, Cheddar Chase, a Chase, all fighting for those last two spots. It really should have been me. I'm looking at my team right now. I'm looking at my points. I have more points than everybody. Oh, no, no, no. That's points against. A lot of points against. But my point, my points are up there. Shouts to Jody again, like uh, Jordan said last time, because he has the most points and he's in first place. And last year, he didn't do so well. That's how it's supposed to be. I know in another league, I have the most points and I'm fighting for a playoff berth. That's fantasy football for you, man. It's all fantasy. It's all luck at the end of the day. Again, we are going to sneak a con on Saturday so if you guys miss us sorry but you know life is important so when we have an opportunity to do something we got to do it even though we got to be closed for a day we're trying our best to announce that every single day so you guys will see that but if you don't see it sorry there's really nothing else we can do other than uh, do what we're doing one and done till next time oh. YouTube what is good we are back and as you can see we're getting to it where do I begin I guess I'm going to talk about that Tiffany Air Force One definitely in the running for sneaker of the year it's crazy to think about how Tiffany would do a collaboration like official collaboration with an Air Force One it just shows you that you know sneakers are always going to be around and everyone likes sneakers right you always got to wear shoes so it's definitely cool to see a huge brand like Tiffany do an actual collaboration if you didn't know I got that silver on the back every time I buy these though I really want to make sure that there's that piece of plastic on top of the silver because I feel like if it's not there it's just not like officially DS you know like if you buy this shoe you should be able to undo that uh, sticker right there personally in my eyes so we got these 23s going out it's actually hilarious because we sold one in store yesterday that was my personal pair from high school we got those in the other day I really didn't think they'd sell because we had other pairs for so long and they sold really quickly so sh shouts to whoever purchased those we got these palace Reeboks that I got at a flea market a long time ago thought they'd sell quick probably took over a year to sell but uh, slow money better than no money we got a Kyrie next to a Kobe those Kobe's are crazy I've been doing a lot of work in the warehouse trying to sell a lot of stuff and list a lot of things and just price drop and that was one of the shoes that I saw we had up and I realized that the price was like a hundred dollars eighty dollars so we dropped it to a hundred and they sold happy to see those go we got those four five six Yeezys again just stuff that we had in the warehouse and I said hey we got to drop these prices or list these somewhere where they're gonna sell quickly and that's exactly what we did we got red thunders we got the Toro sixes we got an infrared four with an orange box the unite threes is actually creepy someone hit me up about those yesterday via dm size 13 said he wanted to possibly come in and trade up for him i said sure you know stop by sometime and then literally someone bought them that night it's, it's really creepy when that stuff happens speaking about creepy black mids not that creepy i mean you know an everyday shoe if you ask me i guess uh we got military seafoam fours we never really sell those or get those i don't know if i spoke about those air max ones camelback always nice to see those go out and we got some other things that we have to get but this is all we're going to do for the picture and anything else about the orders or anything this stuff 23s are kind of creepy just getting them in moving them different sizes that's that's like really really creepy because last week i would have said that shoe's probably been sitting here for like well not this specific one but just in general that shoe sits on the shelves for like now long yeah it's like a ripple effect when one sells another one starts to sell so that's kind of creepy there a couple fours a couple ones the all black ones is kind of crazy honestly i'm not gonna lie just giving black air force one vibes but I'd rather Black Air Force than those, if that makes sense. Some Georgetowns, again, that was like my GR the year last year. Pretty smoke, but again, still nonetheless a really, really good shoe. Got a batch of Yeezys going out, all that stock. Holidays are coming up, Yeezys are kind of low right now, so great time to buy some of those. Got some Kyrie, got some Kobe's going out. Two nice Air Maxes, a lot of colorways, but really good Air Maxes. Can't talk about this this order without talking about the Tiffany's because that is probably like in the running for shoe of the year for like a lot of people, potentially in my top 10 list. Just gotta go back and see what dropped this year, kind of refresh the memory, but definitely um, a really dope shoe. It is really just a plain black Air Force with a Tiffany blue or green or however you want to call it um, swoosh. But I don't know, something about the yellow laces just really like intrigues me. More Yeezys down here. Those Reeboks are a little crazy. I think it was the Palace collab. Yep. And Kubrays. And the costumes. These costumes are just really, really fire. It's not ones you see all the time. They are a little beat. You can see the, the, the fading on the blue. It's kind of worn down. But hopefully whoever bought this is going to skein them and just trash them. Because this is a really rare and beautiful sneaker. Start with the Tiffany's. Like everyone said. It's 
great sneaker contender for sneaker of the year quality is amazing on those and i like how the swoosh pops out stealth uh, 23 is glad to see another one go shout out to the guy who pulled up yesterday i believe he came a month or maybe like a couple weeks ago got eggplant foams and he said that he had a great experience so he wanted to come back so shout out to that guy if you're watching this a lot of grs going out toros infrared some satins those triple blacks didn't think those would go out as fast as i listed them unite threes a jordan that always seems to go out new and used and in a good amount of time red thunder fours another one that we've been selling a lot more frequently than usual i feel like it's because of the holidays yeezys can't go wrong as a holiday gift air max ones love the colors over here and the costins remember owning a pair getting it for the low then when the sb wave came back i believe those went up like a little bit more than usual and to see those faded to perfection is actually really dope so shout out to whoever bought those top threes remember when those used to go for a lot but ever since the market's low those are kind of low now so shout out to whoever bought those and the camel bags I believe we're actually running low on those so shout out to everyone who's been buying those because those always seem to go out every time we list those might have to hit up the plug buy some more mm -hmm. uh anyways we're gonna pack up all this stuff ship it out see what kind of content we get today because uh, it's a short week for us so shout out to everyone for watching see you later and did you have a value in mind for this stuff uh, i just wanted to um trade up for uh, travis low uh which one uh what size Ten nine. Hey, bro, I think you might have taken that one over. Yeah. yeah All right. This one? Yeah. Yeah, pretty clean. Pretty tough that it was new used for a second, but uh, these two are the only two new ones, right? The yeah. twos and eleven. Right. And then you said you did have a price for all this stuff, right? No, I, I just if I could have did an even swap or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and did you have an offer in mind for these? For the um for the traps? I know we had them for nine twenty five. Yeah, I got them a little high because on StockX and Goat, they like ate some. So what were you thinking on those? On these? Yeah. More like 830? 830, all right, let me see. Uh, I could probably do like nine on them because after fees and stuff on stock, that comes up to like a little bit over nine. And then um, on, uh, on Goat, I think they're like 880. So basically same thing, comes up to like nine with the fees and stuff no, like that. I just looked at it, bro. On oh. Goat, they 873 or something. And with that, you're gonna be more like 880-something. Well, how much would you look in for all this? I'm gonna be honest, a lot of this stuff is stuff that we normally wouldn't take. Yeah. Um, I was more around like five for everything. Mm -hmm. And then I could drop those to nine for you. Cause like I said, like they're at nine. At the fees and stuff like, on the apps and stuff like that. And then like you're getting them today. So like that's why like a convenience kind of thing. So like that's where I was at. I was at five for everything for a difference. But let me know what you're thinking. These literally just shot up like a month ago. Like they weren't that high like November. What about eight fifty? You do eight fifty? Eight fifty is tough with the, with trade. Like if it was cash, I could I could do it like a little bit better. Yeah. Like on a cash price. Um trade wise um, I need like 525, drop it down to 375 cash. It's a lot of stuff, like market went down, a lot of stuff like these dropped down to 100 now. 
I got another pair of ice creams in the car. I don't know if that would make a make a difference. Um, these are the board flip twos, yellow. What size? Nine. Um, and what would you want for those? Something to keep me closer than what I want for these. And how much you said you would you would be willing to um to pay on top? Uh, you want to do you said for these for like nine? Yeah, nine. If we were doing like straight cash, I could have dropped like eight seventy five for you. Trades are a little bit different because you know, like a lot of this stuff is gonna take a while for us to move. Like, in, like the, the top ten highs, uh, the campus babes, um, the rafts, just stuff that we're not normally buying right now. But you know, for a trade, we'll take. You know what I'm saying? So quantums don't move. Honestly, like we sell them for the low. Okay. So if you did five twenty five for this, yeah, you would take three seventy five cash or PayPal yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll do it. You want to do it like that? All right, bet. Um. Try them on, check them out, they're good. Well, see, yeah, yeah cause I'm tra 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 Trav's run a little big, from my experience, so just check them out though. Right. Let's see how they feel. And then you want to back to these? Uh, I got paid for the bag or? Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah we, we, don't, we don't charge for bags here. Well, you should be, yup, you're all good, bro. There you go. All right, bro, good problem, man. Have a good one. You too, man. Thank you. You too, bro. What'd you want for both of them? I don't know. I want to trade one and sell one. Okay. Would you? Um. Did you know what you want to trade for? No. Okay. Was it more Yeezys? Oh, Yeezy, definitely. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know what color. Okay. Is there any color you're looking for in particular? No. I want to get something that I, I haven't seen a lot of. So last you got like the gray pair, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what we have in the I had the I had the sole, like that light, light, light blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. But the ten and a half was too tight. Oh, it was too tight. So you want to go eleven now? No, I want to stay with the ten and a half, half. But okay. I just I'll, just show me what you got. Yeah, most of them are gonna be black for sure. This is all we have. You can scroll up. Let me okay. check the back. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah, I did have this one in the back. That's fucking nice. <laughs> Demo soles. All right, I'll take I'll take that one. Okay. <laughs> Um, have any prices in mind for those two, right? No, I think I would just work it out. Whatever you want to do. Okay. So I can do three hundred of each of the the sulfurs and the Oreos. Which is six hundred, and then I could do two hundred together for these two, dropping it everything into four hundred. All right. How about if you do three hundred for that and give me hundred cash? I think it would be the opposite. I think you would owe me a hundred. I got these two at um, like a hundred each, and they're both going for like a hundred, uh, two hundred. So it was a hundred, hundred, and then those three hundred, and then this I dropped to three hundred too. So basically, they're both three hundred. All right, I'll give you a hundred. Okay, which one you want to take? You want the Oreo? This one? Yeah, that's a small size. Yeah. And then you want a bag? How much you looking for? Not his. Yeah, it's uh, pretty clean though. Yeah, you could you just tap right there. Okay. Then, do you need a receipt? Email, text, receipt? Okay, you're all set. Alright, bro. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. I'll probably be back after Christmas. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> That's not crazy. What you ask for? Um, really, I'll take whatever because I've been trying to get rid of these for a while. They've just been sitting in my room. So, really, any number? Yeah. Any yeah. number of mine? Uh, I'm looking for. Tell them to DM me. I'll send them right over. Maybe at least 100 each. So the fair guys, I probably pass on. Mm -hmm. I would take these two for like one, um, like one twenty-five. Sort of. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. That's um, cool. What's the best way for you? Um, cash app. You got Venmo, Zelle, Apple Pay. One of those two. Uh, I could do Venmo. Venmo. Okay, yeah. cool. Can I see you? Um, yeah. Thanks, please. 
Alright guys, what's going on? It's your boy Bro, and back with another not sure what to call this segment yet, but we'll figure it out. Got a couple things I wanted to talk about, and I wanted to start with uh, today's drops. Which were two Nike boots, and I believe that they were re-retros or reiterations of boots that dropped back in 95. They're ACG uh, waterproof um, shoes. The proper name is called the Nike ACG Tour Mid Waterproof, and they came in two colorways, the Burnt Sienna and Obsidian, and it also came in the Pecan and Olive Green. Gray. I actually really like these shoes. I'm big into like vintage Nike and vintage ACGs. I actually own two pairs of vintage Nike boots from I want to say the 90s. Um, they're actually not falling apart surprisingly, but they are pretty beat and I absolutely love how they look. So I'm actually really glad that Nike brought these back. One of the guys might actually end up copying these or I might end up copying these because I actually really enjoy these. Especially that Pekin and Olive Gray one. I do like the yellow laces on them and then the purple hits on the side and the back, which is really dope. Definitely gives off that Nike ACG like 90s vibe. So I might consider getting these i was actually considered getting them today and i thought they were going to sell out but surprisingly they're still sitting on the website so who knows they might end up at the outlet or nike might cut the price down on them but as of right now they are sitting so if you've been looking for these definitely try to go grab them seems like they're easy to get definitely check that out next topic i want to talk about is the nike stussy collab coming out this friday on the 8th the nike flight 89 i believe in three different colorways with snakeskin on the side panels the proper name is the Nike Air Flight 89 Low in collaboration with Stussy. It comes in a white and pecan colorway, a red and white colorway, and an all black colorway. Me personally, I do like the brown and white because it's not too brown. It has nice little hits of white all over as well. And then after that would probably be the red and then the black. They also are dropping apparel with it, which is really dope. They have these like hockey long sleeve looking things, a hoodie, some socks that I'll probably go for actually because I actually really do like these socks. $18, can't go wrong with that. A couple bomber jackets, which are really dope. I really like the orange orange and green one i think they also have a black and white one and i think both bomber jackets are reversible so right now is definitely the perfect time to buy a bomber jacket because of how cold it is and you know you can't go wrong with this stussy retail's not terrible guys the jackets are going for like 200 the socks like i said are going for 18 hockey long sleeve top i kind of mentioned is 100 and it does have air stussy on the back which is really dope I'm not gonna lie this pink long sleeve top is kind of fire we'll see how this one goes i know a lot of people aren't too much of a fan of the air flight 89 i was actually thinking about getting a pair myself just to like beat up but i guess now's the perfect time to get them especially since it's a collaboration with stussy and stussy is one of my favorite streetwear brands i especially like it when they collab with nike because for the most part they do come out with some bangers I'm not anticipating for these to you know go crazy on the market but i really do like this brown one white one now i'm really looking at the official images so they officially drop on nike on the 13th but they drop on the stussy website this friday so should be anticipating that release like i said the apparel is not terrible we'll see how that goes so another release that we kind of had an early look at was the kobe 6 reverse grinch we kind of spoke about it a little bit on camera but they officially come out on the 15th they had exclusive access i want to say maybe yesterday or two days ago and then they also had the shock drop a couple maybe like a week ago now overall build of that shoe i actually really enjoy i never owned a grinch myself i mean depending on where prices sit at after they officially come out me and the guys may consider getting personal pairs it's a great ball sneaker from what i've been hearing all over like snakeskin reptilian like print is really dope i'm still waiting for someone maybe an nba player you know someone who plays ball to wear the grinch the original one and the red grinch on court at the same time that'd be like rick and morty vibes so a uh, really dope release the resale isn't terrible right now i think it's sitting at like 450 500 and then when they officially come out three to 350 possibly i'm not entirely sure so that should be a dope release especially for ball players out there and the last thing i want to talk about is the supreme box logo guys is supreme dead what are we thinking about this one supreme is dropped their classic box logo hoodies this thursday which is tomorrow our time will i be going for it maybe um if i'm lucky i'll definitely try to grab a beanie because i'll probably end up wearing the beanie more than i will the hoodie itself you know the hype for supreme has kind of died in my opinion or at least where we are not a lot of people like you know ask for it or reselling it like they like you used to they do have some really dope colorways i will say so there's a gray one with the camo i think that's what everyone's going to be going for then after that the black blue this purple one's kind of fire a really sage key lime pie 
green, or classic red, and a white. So I'm not hating this release. I actually really enjoy all the colors on here, especially that purple one. And then the beanies, same thing, same colorways. I'll probably go for like a beanie first, maybe a hoodie, maybe both at the same time. Who knows? Supreme box logos are back, I'm guessing, right? I'm curious to see how these box logo hoodies sell after the release, just because like I said, Supreme's kind of dead. They're not going for those astronomical Supreme numbers like they used to, and the market isn't really like fiending for it anymore. But yeah, guys, it's Supreme dying. Like, what are we thinking about this release? Were you able to cop a hoodie for yourself or to resell? In the comments down below, let me know how you guys feel about all these topics that I've mentioned. Will you be copying those Nike ACG hiking boots? Is Supreme dead? Did you get yourself a pair of the reverse Grinches? And are you going for the Stussy Air Flight 89? Leave a comment down below. Catch y'all in the next segment. Peace. YouTube, we're out of here for the day. It is Wednesday night, tomorrow's Thursday, and then we have a short day Friday. Shouts to everyone for watching the content. Shouts to everyone for making purchases. Berwin worked on an awesome video. This one that we're dropping tomorrow is like an hour and 40 minutes long. We didn't break it up. Definitely a little of this, a little of that going on. And then hopefully starting next week, we're gonna start filming in the new store. Uh, don't quote me, it could be two weeks, could be three weeks, I don't know. You know, we're, tr we're trying to keep the train rolling here. Keep providing great content and cool stuff. Take a look at the store, a lot of uh, packed shells still a lot of work to do anything for the people jordan or berwin it's cold it is cold Check out the case, guys. I think tomorrow I'm gonna bring y'all to the other store. Check out the other case because I've been working on filling that up. But this is what the case looks like in here. Gotta fill up a couple more uh, spots right there. Crazy batch over there, but. Oh, that's right. We'll yep. probably film tomorrow too, even though, because Saturday we're, we're not gonna be here. So we'll probably film Thursday, Friday. But yeah, Berwin, like you said, he's, he filled it up over there and there's some crazy stuff over there. Everyone's been pump picking on this Off White 5, so I'm waiting for that to slowly sell. Then, of course, bangers. What the dunks, Heinekens. Yeah, shout out to everyone who's been selling lately. It's been uh, really dope. eBay situation, I, I mentioned the uh, off-white ones. They've been lost in transit since the 28th. It's been about seven days, roughly. Very interesting situation there because I don't know if we mentioned it yet, but uh, shoes were purchased off eBay, got authenticated, got traded into us. We sold them and eBay said they're fake and they're sending them back. And uh, when I called in and said, my shoes are, they disappeared. You sent them back. They said, uh, we wouldn't, put any value on them because we marked them as inauthentic which means they're not worth anything that being the case if that happens i might be out a thousand dollars which would suck but obviously we're going to fight our way and hopefully get that money back because i literally gave the dude a thousand dollars in credit for that shoe just to try to sell them for a thousand and it took months and months and we finally sold them for 1050 and uh ebay said they were fake and you guys probably saw that episode where i literally said hey ebay don't say these are fake it's actually getting crazy to think about because because not saying I'm an expert or Jordan's an expert or Berwin's an expert, but there's certain things that you can literally look at the pictures and say, that's a real shoe, that's a fake shoe. This in particular, just by the pictures, you can tell it's a real off-white one, right? It just sucks. And hopefully we'll be able to get our money back or hopefully the shoes will magically appear one of these days. But I've been checking every day I wake up and they have not been moving. They're just stuck somewhere. Last seen in Newark, not a good sign because usually we know what that means. A shoe disappears, just drop in the bucket. So you got a job in the bucket, who's shooting today? Oh, is it? I mean, All I'll right. shoot again, I don't care. I mean, there, I, there's, I there's multiple days. How many days <laughs> is it, like five days? Are we filming three days, four days? Four days. Excuse the mess, we got a new vacuum coming tomorrow because that vacuum randomly just oh, crapped out on us. Shoot over this vacuum. Over the vacuum shot. Over the vacuum, with that. here we go. One and done. Catch y'all tomorrow. Oh. So close. So close. <laughs> But we're back a lot of orders got a lot to do today i gotta take buck to the vet real quick for a checkup gotta do a lot of things before we uh catch a flight tomorrow so one of those things is making sure you stay on top of the order shots to everyone for shopping with us it's been a crazy batch going out let's talk about them real quick these i see we got recently and i was like dang why do we buy those i believe this was the pair that michael jordan was wearing in the last dance or this same style maybe a different colorway when he was like smoking his cigar talking about his life and stuff like that so this is why i think jordan brand put these out and i'm glad to see them go because obviously uh look at them next up we got a shadow 2.0 have a ton of those glad to see those go out we got the lucky greens going out shout out to deontay he's been buying a lot of stuff from us sorry if we pronounced your name wrong but uh, we appreciate the support reimagine threes check the prices those are going up that's one of those shoes probably if any shoe that we kind of hold at a really high value regardless of what the apps say but nowadays the apps are like over 300 black grapes funny story about those i used to work at a sneaker store not going to name the store but i was the head of uh sneaker management for all the inventory and everything and uh, when 
when this sneaker came out, they always had a rule that like no one can buy sneakers for retail. So even though I was like the sneaker guy, whatever. So I remember going to Willowbrook Mall, waiting in line for these at like 8 a.m. And then uh, I didn't get them. So I came to work right after. And thankfully the uh, the boss's boss, the grandma there was like, Aaron, like I know you really want these. So she was a she let me buy them for retail, which was cool. Funny thing about this shoe though is it looks like shit once you wear them because the suede is just so fine. I wore them out one night and they got destroyed. DB5s, I think I got these at the market. So I'm glad to see these go out. The Black Cat 4s, I need to shout out the dude who grabbed those because he was not bullshitting. Xavier hit us up last week and he was like, hey man, I'm going to buy these uh, next week if you still have them. And a lot of people hit us up on eBay and say that, but I was just like, okay, LOL. And then he was, uh, he was like, nah, I'm not joking. I watch you guys all the time. I'm not pump faking. So I was like, wow, that's what's up. Hit us up today. Grab those. Raptor 4s going out for 120 ship. That pair's a little beat up, but glad to see them go. Shout out to the dude who hit us up directly for the Cherry 12s. Very lightly used. Cornell. Shouts to Cornell. We appreciate you. Speaking about appreciate you, shouts to Lissandro. He grabbed the Supreme shirt over there and this Chicago Dunk. He's been grabbing a lot of stuff from us as always, so we greatly appreciate the support. We got the gray and white. What are those called? The Stealth 12s going out next to the Flint 13s. Flint 13s, another shoe that I invested a lot of money in thinking it was going to be a timeless classic. It still is a timeless classic to me, but they're not commanding the 350, 300 that they were supposed to in my eyes. We got the Tom Sachs going out. Forget the names of those things. Carhartt New Balance going out, which I love to see. And then we got this row. And this row here is actually beautiful, if you ask me personally. Really love the Air Tech Challenge. Again, I mentioned it once or twice. If you have Air Tech Challenges in 11 and a half, please hit me up. This pair right here, I literally sniped at the flea market the other day for 50 beans. Shouts to the kid who sold me them for 50 beans because he's a reseller. So he like knows the market. He can use the internet. He can check things out. They sold really quickly. You never really see these. Slim Jenkins, like I said, uh, size 13. Really good tread, like barely anywhere there. A lot of times, obviously, the heel drag starts going on the nines. But uh, good shoe to go out for sure. Got these Sunset 95s. Glad to see these going out. Hopefully, they're brand new with no box. That's what we listed them as because we thought they were. Grab these in a recent storage unit buy that uh, we'll probably put out in uh, maybe like a month or so. I'll get to that video because I know I want to get the sneaker con footage out ASAP. Two camel bags going out. Shouts to everyone hitting us up and buying those. The Spreewell jersey, the Ame hat, $25 shipped pair of free runs. And I can't forget to shout out, his. I think his name is Zach. He bought this whole batch of stuff right here plus the hat. He's been copping some stuff. Shout out to Elias for grabbing the beanie. He also grabbed some other stuff from us in the past. I believe he's a big YouTube supporter so we greatly appreciate all the support on YouTube. You guys are the bomb. Jordan Bergman, anything for the people about the orders? It was 95, 360. So I'm going to go to this really good fire. Probably I've been in my old man phase lately. Just I've been really, really liking like air matches and stuff like that. That's a lot of stuff I've been looking at. So that colorway is just really, really fire. Just literally it's a sunset. That orange and yellow pop just really sets it off. It's a beautiful sneaker. And the Slim Jenkins. I remember that pack. That was such a good pack back in the day. You know, just ones you don't really see often. So if you could get a pair of those, definitely snag them. Tech Challenge. Again, another good shoe. Good colorway. Nothing too much to say about it, just beautiful colorway. Carhartt, New Balances, one of my two favorite brands, so kind of dope to see them collide and, you know, come with a shoe and collab. Definitely not a shoe I probably wouldn't wear, but definitely cool to look at. I like the colorway, just a regular navy shoe with the Carhartt logo. Cherries, definitely, definitely a beautiful sneaker. Got one in use on Friday and they're ready out today, so really happy about that. Black hats, I mean, that shoe was like $1,000 and a lot of people still want that shoe. A lot of these, you know, younger kids, that's like their grill and stuff like that, so always a good time to move one of those. Those, like, set of course, like, it was all about you know MJ was wearing those and I remember the dude brought them in the other day I was gonna pass it until I saw what they were going for and I was just like well shit like if they're really going for that then I'll take a chance on them and you know they sold within a week the shadows not much to say there because we have so many ones honestly it's kind of like overwhelming looking at all these ones because you know you look at where they were before to now like the drop off is crazy it's lucky green twos and then probably the best shoe not probably but the best shoe in the batch for sure by cement threes definitely a shoe that we heavily invested in since like March and it's kind of good to see it you know stay true and continue going up and that's one of those shoes in here that like we try to get all the time and we move pretty well i'm gonna start with these nines because i've actually never seen those before or knew about that pack so when i was flicking those up i was like damn these are kind of fire tech challenges can't go wrong any colorway in those such a classic model cherries i think our first used pair so really glad to see those go out i know those have been selling for us pretty frequently ever since the release 
so glad that everyone's been copying those classics black cats absolutely crazy shout out to the guy who bought those lucky green twos can't go wrong with those especially on how low those are right now very clean sneaker jordan 2 is one of my favorite underrated jordan models and the white cement threes um definitely contender for sneaker of the year we were watching the complex sneaker review or list yesterday and it was terrible but i'm glad they had those on the list i would have been upset if they didn't so shout out to whoever bought those gotta add these to the batch space jam 11s brand new size nine and a half we're gonna pack up all this stuff get it shipped out asap jordan what's going on right now we have, a, we have a good gentleman off camera. That was, we're making there he is. <laughs> um, doing a coin flip for these. He wants how much you want? Eight fifty. Eight fifty. They agreed to seven fifty. Seven fifty. Eight fifty coin flip. Or he could just take the eight, but he wants to do the coin flip, so he doesn't want to be on camera. But we're gonna flip it. So we have a Delaware quarter. All right. Sales. All right. As you want to call now, I'm calling the air. I'll call the air. Okay. Tails. Oh, yes, oh. let's go. Oh. Send me that. I told you, Jordan's good energy. Bro. <laughs> Jordan's good energy. Bro. Like so he just I won. Like so. <laughs> so I'll tell A to Zell you, or that's the best way, right? Zell. Yeah. Okay. Zell. It was very dramatic, just way. So dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. I, I thought I was gonna spin and just keep going until it just dropped, but nah, he won fair and square. Yeah. Pretty clean. <laughs> Pretty clean. Size 10. Size 10 for anyone out there. So that's going. No, no. It's going in, in the case. Oh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Harrison. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. Not too far. Nice. I, think I was telling him, I, was, I didn't know there was a jersey place. <laughs> I only saw you guys recently. Oh, nice. I found, you know what I found weird. I got these off sneakers, but the box is bigger. So a lot of one lows, they, they do that like with one lows. Like for some reason, like they make their box like extremely huge. Yeah, but the know. shoes, like there's like mad space. Like yeah. we, we complain about that all the time. This is a weird trainer I got like, a long time ago. I have like three other pairs in my car. I yeah, them. take your time, bro. Right, yeah, no problem. This will probably be a funny vibe. I was hoping <laughs> they were. Oh, yeah. you just got these? No, nah, these was for a while back. Wait, wait, what is this one? This is uh, not the first one because I haven't wear the one. This is like the second one. Oh, I, th I was hoping. Like At first, I thought they were regular birds until I saw the kit. And I thought they were um, the latest ones. Oh, no, 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 no. I've never uh, seen these before. <laughs> this is like my least favorite Burke. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I don't know. Something about the double straps just, I can't do I it. I know. I got. I have to get the cover. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm keeping. <laughs> like this one. I've never worn it, but I was like, yeah. Like that that double strap is like, like, my girl tried to get me to get those. I said, absolutely not. Like, I can't, nah. I can't wear those. Only if you got like, I don't know, like wool socks or something like that, you know, I guess you could pull it off. I don't know. Ah, that's like, nah, that's like, that's like the California swag. I can't, yeah. I, I can't pull that off. This is just, I don't even care. I got them because I like the color green. It's just, they do, they do do pretty well with green. I'm not gonna lie. Can I get the breakdown? Because I don't, I don't really know. How much uh, I, I know some of the ones were like around like eighty just because they're low. That's fine. Um, I was like a hundred for the turbos. Um, this one I was at a hundred. This one I was at like eighty. Um, the eighty fives was at two hundred, and then the crushers I think I was at a hundred for, and then the LeBron I was at like fifty four. Then the Burks I didn't add the Burks. In yeah, no, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it was like I'll, I'll look them up. Just to Yo. see like what it's going for. Yeah. Um. It is. It is. <laughs> a, no it idea. is definitely a weird one. But what's up? Forty-one. So that's like a met. That's a seven, right? Kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I feel oh, like they kind of run a little big, but I don't know. Yeah, that's an eight. Cause the forty-two is a nine. Yeah. Yeah. Forty-three is a ten. Forty-two is nine. Yep. So yeah, let me yeah. see. Yeah, I think this one like I just might hold off on, but I will take everything else though. If you want to do that. Uh. Yeah. Credit, credit. I could do more if you want to trade, look around, or if you want to trade cash. I don't know. Can you do this for like a hoodie or something? I don't know, like a stuff, oh, like a top shelf hoodie. Yeah, let me. Just... I'd love to like support. Oh yeah. no, thank you, but we appreciate it. Man. We appreciate it. For... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine with eight hundred. Oh. It's like the funny thing with Burks is that like they don't ever, well at least for like the Kiss stuff, they don't ever pop up. Yeah, only the Dior ones. I agree. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, nice. That's an XL. Check it out. See how it how it uh, looks and everything. That should be good. Yeah. All right, bet. And what's the best way for you, Zelle, Venmo, Apple Pay? Uh, I only got a Venmo. I mean, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Right, so we just sold a Wizard 3. Gotta figure out which one it is between these two. Shout out to the dude who just came by and sold us a bunch of stuff. Over here, we bought some brand new Supreme Cross Trainers. White pair. I like to call them the Rasta pair because of the colorway. So far, got some LeBron going out. This might be a sign because they play tonight in the play-in semifinals in Vegas. So who we got in that one, Berwin? I'm going to go against the odds and say the Pelicans. I think a lot of people have the Pelicans. Did you see the video when they said, they asked them, what are you guys going to do if you won? They like, kind of looked at each other. I was like, <laughs> I was just like Yo, don't, 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 don't let these guys win. We got some off-white Air Forces. I hear the green. I like the colorway, but I don't really like the shoe, honestly. I, I think they could have done without the spikes on the bottom and would have been a way better sneaker. We got some ones, we got some turbos, we got some um, Spider-Mans, some patent leathers, black and white 85s, black tolos, and then the weirdest one of them all, Berwin size, Berwin's eyeing these up off camera, <laughs> the kid, Jesus walks, Birkenstocks. And then we also bought some Storm Blue Union ones. Slow day, but getting some work done. I know the playing game is at five tonight. Pacers and Bucks are playing, so I know that should be a good game. Who you got in that one, Berwin? Pacers. Good answer. I have the Pacers as well, too. I'm not a big Giannis fan. I think he's a fraud, honestly. Dame is cooked, and I think I think Tyrese is going to have... I think 30 and 10. Actually, I go 30, 10, and 5. I think Indiana and Pelicans in the finals would be a crazy game. I'm not alive for ratings. That's a nasty matchup. That's a nasty... <laughs> it's a very, it is. It's a very like nasty game. You wouldn't expect that. In two hours, I'm not going to expect that. <laughs> Again, this, I think it's good for the NBA because you start to see kind of like the change in the guards. You see like the young guys in the league now. They're starting to become the face of the leagues and, you know, they're causing damage. You see LeBron and them, KD, they're getting, they're getting older. So they don't have those young legs like they used to anymore. So a lot of these younger teams like Indiana, the Sacramento's, the New Orleans, Minnesota's, the Magic. So teams like that, they're young. They're turning the NBA upside down. So that's pretty dope to see. So came to five o'clock. So we could at least watch the first half here while we get some stuff done so yeah what are you asking on these two what did you have these up for twelve it was like three for one right? might have been four what do you want for these two? As close as possible to these. Let me see what this one's called. I mean, I, I miss these. And like, like these more importantly, I want to know where you're at with the trash. Realistically, I wanted to get around seven and three. That's what I kind of was looking at. Seven and three. Okay. Let me see what the balance are at. And anything in mind you would like to uh, pay, f like like value wise for the Sean's? I was thinking like one or 150 on top. I was thinking like 150. Yeah. If you wanted to do that, yeah. So that would, be, yeah. Yeah. So like I value them, like I value these. So basically, I was I was where you was at, honestly. But I, I was just like 50 less hair, and then I dropped these like one, oh, 11, and 150 will be the difference. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. All right. And how are you paying cash? I'll pay card. 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 And you want a bag for these? Yeah. I got mind. you. Yeah, I got you. Would you still have the frags left, right? Yeah. And I mean, I saw, I saw some news that like there's an olive one coming out. Another one? Apparently, in 2024 next year. Apparently, it's an it's an olive pair. Interesting. It's like it look it's the exact version of the uh, original mochas, but just an olive color. So if that does happen, I would get those in a second. All set, bro. Cool. Appreciate right, it as always. Sir, how's your weekend? How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, you... Okay, which one? You, you two are new. Okay. These are going on me. Yeah, I know. I do like them. <laughs> I just got too much stuff there. Eagles fan? Yeah. 
I like the sweater. It's nice. It says nice Kelly Green. Yeah, I love that Kelly Green. How much were you looking for everything? These, I don't even know. Like, I know new is like two. I was thinking like one. Okay. These, like maybe a thousand. Um, and then these were kind of throwing. I know they're not going for anything. Satin breads. Oh, okay. And I have um, the goat receipt cool if you want that. Damn, I haven't seen these in so long. I know, that was a total impulse purchase. I kind of like these, I though. I know. <clears throat> I was so confused. I was looking at I was like, Supreme Jordan. I know they haven't dropped anything recently. Yeah. They are pretty nice though. I don't I just don't I don't know about this. I don't know. I think that would that, that like that's what do it for me. Yeah. Damn. If this was just all black. That would be that would be yeah. fire too. And these are these are pretty sweet. Let's start off with the two new. What yeah. do you ask for? I know these are probably be low. These are not really selling well for us. Yeah, I was just gonna start at 100 there. 100 here? Okay, cool. And what about the Supremes? Supreme I was looking for like two. Okay. Here, two here's fine. Um, this one I'll come back to because these are you know lower than. Yeah, they're pretty low. So the glass you said a hundred. The glass that maybe a little bit less. I'll probably be more like seventy five because I see last sale on goat was like one eighty. This one you said a thousand. This is the one I'm gonna have to yeah, do a little. This is the uh, receipt for it. Okay. This one I just gotta look into, see what market is on these. Yeah. Cause I feel like we really don't see see these all the time. I bought from Go. I got them listed on Go right now. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for yeah, my payout right now would be like just over a thousand. So just over I a figured. thousand. I feel like a thousand is a little tough because I do see that's kind of where they're at. Mm -hmm. Or like prices listed at online. Have you tried selling them on eBay yet? No, I haven't. I haven't uh, put anything on you right now. Just everything's on coat. Everything's on I coat. usually try and double up, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm going to Aruba. Oh, nice, nice. On Sundays, I'm like, you know what? I I, I just never ever grab these. Mm -hmm. I never wear them. It's definitely a great shoe for sure, though. Yeah. I'll probably start off like like seven, probably for them. Probably less than four thousand realistically i came in i was thinking i would go as low as eight so if we could do eight i would let them go for eight that just saves me on trying to ship them out mm -hmm. something going wrong i could meet you at 750 i could meet you in the middle there this one this is like the rare one because this one i feel like i'm going to be under 100 just because they're so low mm -hmm. and just trying to move like a satin one in a men's size is a little bit difficult. Yep. Did you get them off Nike or Full Locker? Nike. I would say, what was that, a month ago? Right? Yeah. You might Something be able like to return them still. Let's see. I think Nike is like 60 days now. It's still giving me the option for a uh, starter return. Yeah, I would guess it will give you 60 days to try out your Nike purchase return. You can return those items within 60 days of an online order. So I would try that, honestly. All right, that's cool. I'll do that with them. And then for these three, I'm at 1025. Yeah, so 75, 200, and then 750 here, which comes up to 1025. Let's do it. You want to do that? Uh, I'm assuming Zelle's the best way. Uh, I don't have Zelle, Zelle, but I have Venmo and I have Apple Pay. Yeah, which one is best for you? Uh, Venmo's cool. Venmo's cool. All right, let me see a quote, please. Back. Not sure how much content we got today. Probably actually a decent amount, right? Did a big coin flip, lost. That's okay. Bought a bunch of stuff, sold a bunch of stuff. Shouts to everyone who pulled up. Shouts to, I think his name was Dante. He came from Brooklyn. He bought like four pairs of ones. He, he said he really liked and appreciated our customer service answering the DMs. Uh, we try our best to answer a lot of DMs. Guys, uh, not just to us, but to anyone. If you want your DM answered, the best way to do that is, hey, I'm looking for this, or hey, do you have these? Or not just like, yo, hi, hey. I'll try to answer those too sometimes but most likely any business is going to the hey do you have these in stock first before they go to the yo and i was actually thinking about that because he was mentioning about customer service and about sneaker stores and how you know it's hard to get them to answer and stuff like that and as annoying as it is sometimes to answer everyone whether it be an ebay question a, a dm an email it's important to do that because a lot of stores don't do that and we do want to provide the experience where like we're more hands-on kind of relatable to people who just want to buy things or, or get 
questions answered. So I know in the past, even me personally, like can't really DM Flight Club. Like they're not gonna answer your DMs, like Stadium Goods, like a lot of stores aren't gonna answer DMs and nothing wrong with that. Obviously a lot of stores are busy and you know, a lot of people don't answer DMs, but I had to put that in there. Phone, we're gonna try to hopefully get a phone in the next couple weeks. We just literally misplaced the cordless phone, honestly, at this point, I've um, just been looking for it and uh, we'll plug it in. But without having the phone, it's been nice. Shout out to everyone who's been pulling up, buying stuff, selling stuff, trading stuff. Excited to go to Houston tomorrow, Jordan and I. Berwin can't come sadly, but hopefully we can go to a different venue in the, in the future. I'm excited because I've never been there and I'm excited for a good event. Hopefully we get a lot of good stuff, good content for you guys, because I know you guys love the sneaker con videos. Shout out to sneaker con as always. Thursday night football, toilet bowl game today. Patriots versus Steelers. Doesn't sound like a good game. Over under is like 35 or something points, the lowest over under I think in uh, a couple years now. But uh, it sounds like it'd probably be like, what, a 50 point game? Shout out to everyone for all the support. You guys are the best. I've been seeing a lot of the positive comments and negative comments. You know, it is what it is, guys. We're not uh, perfect. We'll never claim to be perfect. We do what we can do. We show you guys kind of the uncut negotiations, the uncut store days, whatever it is, um, whether you like it or you don't. Some of y'all don't understand it. Some of y'all do. I'm getting better at not caring about people who don't understand it because we just have so many constant supporters and customers who shop with us and continue to sell to us and buy from us and trade with us that uh, gotta be doing something right, right? If we're still here, we're still selling, still making moves, gotta be doing something right. So I appreciate all the support because y'all are the best and definitely motivate me and the guys to continue this journey. I guess we'll film a little tomorrow. We are open 10 to 4. It's wonky hours, so sorry if you guys pull up. It is what it is. We gotta do what's best for the business and I think going to SneakerCon is gonna be a great experience for us and uh, great for you guys to check out the content. Anything for the people before we go? Shout out to the kid who came by with his father. He wanted to take a picture. He copped something. He copped a Red Thunder size 14. Didn't catch his name, but appreciate him. Signed by and supporting his story. He said he watches YouTube. He was really happy to be here, so we really appreciate him. Really appreciate everyone else who came by, stopped by, trying to do some Christmas shopping and stuff like that. So appreciate everyone. Hope we have what you guys are looking for. I'm sorry if we don't, because it's that time of year where people are looking for stuff like something specific, like exact size and colorways and stuff like that. So check out the eBay. That's like the best way to cut time, especially this time of year. Check the eBay, see if we have what you're looking for. DM us again, like he said, don't say, hey, yo, straight to the point. This is what I'm looking for, X, Y, and Z and stuff. So watching the end season tournament, like I said earlier, Bucks and Pacers. Oh, Bucks came back, 78, 76. So pretty good game, honestly. Wasn't a big fan of the in-season tournament, but it seems to drive views and competition. It's been really competitive. Like who would have thought like Indiana would be in the semifinals, potentially going to the finals. I feel like I've been rambling, but shout out to everyone who's been supporting. Yeah, that's about it. Hopefully next week we're gonna start filming in the new store. A lot of good stuff hopefully gonna continue to happen in here. And yeah, shout out to all y'all, man. Y'all are the best. And we got a lot more to film till Christmas, so I'm not gonna give that whole happy holiday. Actually, it is Hanukkah today. Happy Hanukkah to all my Hanukkah homeboys out there. You know what's going on. We're behind the turf, right? Just making sure. Yeah. One done. Line. Catch you guys next week. Oh. The banker. Oh. Good, it's about 10 a.m. I was in here for a couple hours making sure we have all these orders packed up and ready to go before we take a flight. So let's take a look at what sold. We're gonna start off up here. For some reason, this Chicago Golf 12 and a half was giving me trouble this morning trying to find it. I almost ordered another one trying to make sure we were able to keep the order, but we ended up finding it, so that's what's up. Got some ones going out next to the J Balvin 2s, which I honestly think this is a really nice sneaker. They light up, extra laces, but retail is 300, which was crazy. This pair sold for 110. Carmine's Oreos Wizards Cardinals UNC 9 brand new that's one of those shoes that you wouldn't think it went for a lot but on goat those sold to get us back like 375 cool grays lady was hitting me up last night asking a bunch of questions making sure that we can get them there by Christmas and we're trying to answer all those questions as efficiently as possible and that's why we're trying to get these orders out as quickly and as efficiently as possible because we want to make sure that everyone gets them on time speaking of on time reverse Grinch I mean again I'm not the biggest Kobe fan at all I actually didn't like Kobe Bryant growing up but uh, at sneaker con if I could find 11 and a half or 12 in these for a good price, I'm copping. Speaking about I'm copping, Air Max Plus next to some just other nice stuff. Air Max 95s, Air Max 97 off-whites. We got the Ghost Racers. And then we got these beautiful Nike Air Flares that I wish fit. They're size 12. I tried them on. They're just like way too big on me. So we put them up and they're going out. Uh, big fan of Air Flares and tech challenges and stuff like that. Just something different for sure. Penny 2s, Melvins. Don't see those too often. Those bring back a lot of memories. I feel like a lot of older kids had those when I had no money and 
no means to get any sneakers like that. We got this crazy Orioles authentic Gibbons jersey with the two patches. This is actually going to someone at Top Slash Fanatics who works there. So who knows what they're going to do with this? Maybe get it signed or frame it or wear it. I have no idea, but it's really nice when we can sell stuff like that to people like that. And we got this American flag on the back. Very cool stuff. Miss the medicine ball, Bo Jackson's. We got some T Max. I think those T Max represent the game where he scored like what 13, 30 seconds or something like that. Don't quote me exactly, but when he went crazy, I think it was against the Spurs. He had like a bunch of points within like 10 or 30 seconds, something crazy. There's a bunch of other stuff that sold also, but we can't really fit it in the frame. And we're kind of uh, on the move today. So we're just going to talk about this stuff. Erwin, Jordan, anything about the orders? The yeah, rush card's going out already. Not surprised to see that. Probably they're going to make a lot of pairs of those and I feel like a lot of people don't want them. So it's Kobe, it's a Grinch, not surprised that time of year. Penny twos, good shoe right there. Those Air Max, Nike IDs. I wish I was a half size small because I really, really like that one. I remember we used to have it listed up as 11 and a half, but it was a women's pair. So really good pair. Talk about another good pair, off-white 97s. Beautiful sneaker. I love a lot of the black off-white stuff. Um, black's my favorite color, so kind of biased there. Got some stuff you don't see all the time. Some Master 12, some UNC 9s. Two really, really good shoes right there. I feel like 9s don't get a lot of love. Some golf shoes. I feel like we've been buying a lot of those this year, and I feel like we've been really good on investment on those. The original Oreo 5s, I like that one better than the new one just because the quality is a little bit better. We got some Wizard 3s, some 1s. Not the biggest fan of the J Balvin's, but we got those going out. Shout out to the person from Tops who bought that jersey because it's always cool to see like someone from like a company or something like that like purchased from the store and then the Melvins. Yeah, I'm going to start with the Kobe Grinch because I just made a little video on that yesterday that you guys can check out on Top Shelf Thrift on the Instagram page. I'm excited for that release because I'm hearing that there might be like three times more than inventory according to Vanessa Bryant. So shout out to Nike on that one if it's true. The greedy Air Maxes, those are absolutely fire. I love the little twist on the orange and blue next to some beautiful Air Max 95s and some Off-White 97s. Amazing right there. Love this little batch of trainers next to some pennies. Melvins, can't go wrong over there. I believe that was my buy, so shout out to guys who sold us those. Chicago Golfs, even if you don't play golf and you just want to wear those casually, I think that's a great shoe just to wear out. Ones, glad to see those go out as always. Oreo 5 is a classic right there. Medicine Balls, definitely an underrated trainer right there. And the Balvin 2s, retail was crazy, but still a great sneaker nonetheless. And I like the sky blue hits on the side, so shout out to whoever bought those. A lot of work to do before we go. Again, if you pull up today after 4, you pull up tomorrow, 12 9 Saturday. So sorry, we tried to announce that we're closed as much as we can, but uh, that's that. We're going to pack up all this stuff and get it shipped out ASAP. $32 Yeah. You said 10 Enzo? Yeah. Yeah, 10. I got a nine and a half. Do we act on this too? Um, I didn't That's really a have a price in mind. I was really. Oh, okay. You were trying to sell a trade. Um, yeah, I was looking more to sell. I really needed the cash, but I wasn't mind looking around. Okay. Um, and you see, did I have a price? No, not at all. Anything in mind? Just because I know, like, the lot of dogs don't really move that well. Like, we have so many in here, and they literally just sit for us. So, any number? Um, I was thinking on the dunk, at least 200. Okay. And what about the easies? <laughs> like a hundred bucks probably. They're, it's really, I know they don't go for shit, so let me see. Just, just used, brand new, I don't think. Aaron, Pearl, you know what I want for Christmas from YouTube? These are pretty small, if I took them, I only get a lot of these. They're just really small. So I'll probably get like two of them. Mm. I'll tell you, you want to do that? Because if not, they're just going to sit in my, in my room. I don't even use them. They're not my size anymore. I lost weight, so. Oh, that is nice. I used to be a size 12, now I'm 11, bro. We hear that all the time. Like, people say, like, they lose weight. And, like, their foot shrinks, too. Bro, it really does. It really does. And I didn't believe it, because, um, you know, Mayor, the, the, the yeah, one in New York, he yeah. all the sneakers. Yeah. I watched him a while ago, and he was a bigger dude. And then yeah, yeah. he lost all his weight, and he was like, yeah, I was a size 11, now yeah, I'm 10. I think I seen that video he was talking was about like, like he, he was he was selling all his stuff. Mm -hmm. What is the best way for you? Um, could you do cash? If not cash, probably like Zelle, Apple Pay, Venmo, Apple Pay, is cool. Apple Pay cool. Yeah. What, what's the uh, phone? So all the no box stuff you thrifted. And those. Oh, these two. Okay. And when I say thrift, like I think I told you before, I do like the whole Buffalo Exchange thing. Like, okay. These I was actually shocked when I looked up brand new the cap and gown 13s. It's like those are those are like mad weird. Cause obviously used, you know, and I'm not asking much, but yeah. just for DS, like cap and gown thirteens, like I think a ten was like close to like four fifty or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's brand new, like they go for like a stupid price like that and the um uh, 
the black hats. Both yeah, and we're the bring. cap and gown 11s. Mm -hmm. like, I guess the cap and gown is like, people like it just because it's like sleek, I guess. It's all black. So that's like yeah. a lot of the reasons why like But people, to me like a playoff is better than this. You know what I mean? Like like like, way, way, way like who's dropping four fifty on these if the playoffs are like eat them? It, it, it's funny because a lot of people don't don't they don't like the OG stuff really. What were you thinking on the shoes? Oh, I got you know my notes up. Yeah. I know you like guys like when people come prepared. And oh, I'm trying to think. You guys it was that and the paper cuts, right? Yeah, so okay. you guys had that for three yeah. online and, and those for one twenty five. Yeah. So I was thinking 250, 1, 350. And then here's the numbers on this. Comes up to 420, but if you want to be less a little bit. Yeah, let me just take a picture so I can go back to it. Thank you. Yeah, try them on everything. Yeah. Check them out. How's it going with the new store? Oh, it's been great, man. Great. So I was a little bit less like than where you were at. Um, you were saying 420. Okay. Yeah. I was at three for everything. Three? Yeah, okay. So we're not that far off. So was that like 50 off or so? Yeah, 50 off I was at. Okay. That's not. Um, I think I was at this one. It hurts. That's why I took it just out of the Did box. I have it in like the right order as far as value? Like these yeah. are probably the best, right? Um, Similar. These two were like really <laughs> similar. I mean, like I, I value these two like around the same size, like, like no box out. basically. If it had a yeah, box, just maybe a little bit yeah, more like square yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, these I definitely value less. Like, it's one like even like in better condition, they don't really move. Yeah, it's a weird. So show. I had to value these a little bit less. And what were you looking these two for? I value, these? Like around two, like like twenty dollars. Yeah, that's about what I. That's kind of like the order I had. So yeah, like a fifty dollar difference. Okay. Is where we're at. I have like some clothes and stuff that I was just going. Yeah, of course. Make it straight. Yeah, and I can give you a replacement if you want for these. Like, okay, yeah. Change. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What uh, what do you have? A bunch of random like sports stuff. But I figured if you could get to the 50 extra, make it straight. If that's what you, and I'll make it easier. You guys usually have to pay. I mean, the, the small here. Carry it. Uh, I like to go look. This one was funny. I was in the no. bins, uh -huh. and uh, like a lady next to me uh -huh. pulls it up. And I'm like, no, for it. <laughs> she's like looking at it, looking at it. And I think because it's all yellowed, uh -huh. she tossed it back. I instantly like jumped over, grabbed it. I, I kind of like the yellow. Yeah, yeah. I, to, I think like if it was too white, like it wouldn't. It, be you'd be same. almost worried to wear, right? Exactly. I think the yellow it makes you gonna wear a little yeah. bit more. But it's just fun because like. You know, I'll be digging next to someone who might not know like anything about it, but then I might be passing up shit too. <laughs> this almost reminded me of like a Stussy Nike piece they did. Yeah, I think that's just like a regular like goalie jersey. Yeah, yeah. But this is fine. Yeah, the DeLong. Like, that one I think's newer, but yeah, I think it might be like pretty new. There doesn't seem any wear on it. Oh, that one on the left. That sleeve, I think it still has the tag on it. I have not it. sold them the kill. It's like cut okay. off. Though. Yeah. Um, okay. It's everything but like him I'm saying. Uh, what, what are you What are you yeah. asking on some of this stuff? Um, like <laughs> so, if I'm fifty <laughs> away, good. like so I was almost gonna do like way. a like. Um, did take what you want for the straight. You know like what I mean? Like whatever like you think. Ego okay. Like, so it was like more. You know, but, and they play under Jock, but I don't know if he's. It's another one of those situations. I don't know if he's going to be there yeah. when they get back to it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Did you get the? Did you like the polo jacket or? Oh, I love. Do you remember when I came in that one day for a medium yeah, brand I do, new? I do. I do. Yeah. And, and then dude, dude, yes, dude, yes. Saw, yeah. And I was always like, dang, like if only that was a large, if only that was a large, and then you post the large. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking like, was this from your collection or you just bought this one? Like, So I got that for my boy because I was at Marshall's one day and I seen him there. You just so said that. For they like should have 200 bought it. or whatever. And at the time it wasn't as big of a deal because they retail was like 450, right? Or something? Six? It might, 495. Something, something like that. Something stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do these three? Uh, the Cowboys, the Orioles, and the Yankees. Yankees? I'll do that. Okay, hey, you want this? Throw this into. Yeah. <laughs> what else is this? Is stuff we're not taking? I, oh, just, I wanted to, to make it straight, but right. like if you guys want that stuff, feel free. But uh, I figured it's probably on the border, right? Actually, which one? Like this, right? Yeah. I like the little. It's like it's a circles. it's a, it's a uh, goalie 
Yeah, shirt, right? but it reminds me like Stussy Nike just made yeah, something yeah, similar, yeah. but that's like the actual. Well, it's like Presto era. Like yeah, so you would take everything. Oh, yeah, I didn't look at the clothes. Yeah, let me know what you come out here. For this stuff or everything? It's everything. It's. Five. He said these are all new, but obviously these are just a little. Everything else looks pretty much new. Be a little off, like 750. But we're leaving one pair of 270s and the two shirts just because they're a little up. We got eight. 780. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, what's the best way for you? I yeah. know. Exactly. YouTube. It is 3:36, and I'm anxious because I hate flying, and we're about to catch a flight later tonight. Sneaker Con should be exciting. Shout out to everyone who pulled up today. It was quite the eventful day. It's crazy how it's like very slow, and then all of a sudden it's like boom, 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 boom. Everyone just like decides to come in at the same time, which is totally cool. It's just you know a little hectic, but we handled it. We got a bunch of shoes in, used, new, beaters, anything you can think of. Probably got it. Shout out to everyone for shopping with us, checking out the eBay, checking out the content. Y'all are the bomb. And that's about it for me, man. Ready to wrap this up so we can uh, get back to work and come back in next week hopefully we get an awesome video at houston sneaker con that's the plan and that's the goal so anything for the people guys houston we have a we don't have a problem we don't, <laughs> we don't want any problems it's hard to see the rain it's supposed to be terrible rain when we fly back so that would suck if we're stuck there but you know gotta be optimistic you know i went to the vet yesterday with buck he had this like lump on him right just a story about optimism and i was worried about the lump because i'm like yo what is this lump like is it a tumor like god forbid like i gotta go to get it checked out i gotta pay the vet we gotta go so i go and the vet's like oh it's just like a fatty cell like it's nothing to worry about if it grows to a tennis ball then i'll worry about it i'm like cool so i'm just like oh well like how could you tell if it's a tumor or like uh something bad that i have to worry about he just looked at me crazy and he's just like why would you even say that like why are you thinking like that i'm trying to think more positive now which is important right we gotta think positive so as much as the forecast is saying it's gonna rain in 40 mile an hour winds on sunday hopefully it won't be that bad just a buck fuck the god i've been seeing a lot of signs eagles money line just played a week. Everyone's on Cowboys. I don't trust in Dak. Let Jalen cook. No comment. I mean, you gotta, <laughs> gotta know what side I'm on, but no comment when it comes to the to that, man. That's what it is. Too many Kelly Green. Not just Eagle stuff. Kelly Green specifically. I've been seeing this week. I'm gonna say AJ Brown's gonna have a monstrous day. He's gonna kill. Smitty's gonna have a good day. And I think Jalen Hurts is gonna torch him. I think Jalen Hurts is gonna have He's gonna show you why he should be the MVP. I hate the Cowboys, but I think a lot of people are falling off the Eagles after one loss. They're still number one in the division, number one in the NFL on record and all that. So playoffs still goes through them as of right now. So I've seen Jalen Cook too many times in big games to let this one game sway me. If you really watch the game, it was really, I think it was like a one score difference at halftime. So it's got lock in a little bit, but trust them, boys. Who's one and done, is it? Did we all go? Back yeah. To all right. Speaking of Eagles, shouts to whoever purchased this cap. Fly goes fly. Another sign. Anyways, catch you guys next time. Till next time. <laughs> catch you guys next time. Till next time. See you soon. Till next time. Oh. Yeah, I, the air. I took the air of the ball.